Hello, this is BZH coming to you here from Big Zach's house. So I promised you guys a quick tutorial on how to update the firmware on your Sony Action Cams, the AS30, the AS100, and the Live View Remote. So it's real easy. First thing you do is go to support. You're gonna go down to drivers and software. And then you're going to go down to technical support drivers and software. Need a driver software for your Sony product, click here. It's gonna pop up. Then you're going to select your product, which you're gonna see action cam over here. AS, I already clicked on 100V. So you're just going to select your operating system. I have a Windows 7. I've already downloaded it, but I just want to show you guys how to do it. So there's a firmware update. There's also a Play Memories Home update for the AS100. You're going to click download, which I have already done. You're going to hit run. Then after that is done, you're going to plug your action cam in. It's going to, so you plug it in. I've already connected it. So once you plug it in, you're going to hit next. Then it's going to say check version. I click the next button to verify. So I'm going to hit next. Verify the version of the update information on the bottom left. I'm getting the version two, which is right here. I already have one. Prepare account for update, hit next again. So follow the following procedures to reset the camera, safely remove the hardware, clicking the safely remove hardware icon on the bottom right of the computer screen. Keep the USB cable connected when doing so. Press the enter button on the camera, then click next. All right, so I have my camera plugged in. So I click the safely remove hardware on the bottom right. I ejected it. Safe to remove hardware. Press the enter button on the camera, which in our case is going to be the record button. So I did that. I'm gonna click next. So now it's installing again. It's important that you do this the proper way, so that way it gets installed. So when it says to hit the enter button after uninstalling it, it's important that you do so. So now I'm gonna click run. So I'm now running the update. Do not pull the USB out or turn the camera off. All right, so it finally completed. It went all the way through. Camera started up. The update process has been complete. So it says finish update. So I'm gonna hit finish. And unplug my camera. Going through. My camera, sorry, it's not very bright, so I'm gonna move it around. So, going through the camera, the way to see that it's done for me, live camera is updated because now it has live. Go to my setup. I'll do the different things. That's the self timer, so you can do two, 10 seconds. So the update is complete on this. Sorry for the bad picture. So what you're gonna do for the other cameras is the same thing. You're gonna plug in your AS30, go through the prompts, follow them exactly, and then do the same thing for your live view remote. So, thank you guys for watching. I apologize for some of the quality of the video on the TV and my bad lighting right here, but I wanted to make sure I got this out to you guys. And if you have any questions, just um, leave some comments. You can get at me on my Facebook page, it's Big Zach's House. 
facebook.com slash Big Zach's House. And also you can get me on Twitter at Big Zach's House. It's easiest for you to get, get at me on Facebook. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.